Yeah, good question. What should you do if you are interested in buying a home in the city of Newburgh? So, number one, spend time here. <laughs> spend time here. People contact me sometimes and they want me to be like Newburgh tour guide, which absolutely that's part of my job, giving information about different neighborhoods, where to go, where to eat, whatever, blah, 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 do the whole like hostess with the mostest thing. Um, and at the same time, you need to wander. There are a lot of different pockets that are so interesting in Newburgh and it's amazing. It's a real city, so one block is going to be totally different from another block, is going to be totally different from another block, and there are, you know, maybe five or six broad neighborhoods in Newburgh, and the whole thing is what? Three square miles, three and a half square miles. Totally different. We have super dense downtown, we have, you know, more detached bungalow, Cape Cod sort of houses over in West Newburgh. We have Washington Heights, we have Grand and Montgomery Street with the whole mansion thing going on. We have the Liberty Street run that has all the cute stores. We have South Street that, ha again, is like a big commercial strip with a lot of cool stuff. We have around Downing Park, so you can overlook an Olmsted Park, same guy that designed uh, Central Park in New York City with its like fake rolling nature, beautiful, like constructed beauty kind of thing with a gorgeous pond. It's up to you. It depends on what you like, but it's good to know what you are doing when you come into relationship with a real estate agent because we cannot tell you what you want and where you want to live, but we can help you get your goal once you know what you're up to. So yeah, come hang out, drive around aimlessly. It's great. Just eat food, hang out, meet people, do your thing. And then call me when you're ready to buy a house. <laughs>